In this video, I'll show you how to connect your PS5 controller to your Android smartphone. I'll show you how to connect using Bluetooth, but also how to connect them using a USB cable. So you have two options. Let's start with the Bluetooth. So first we need to go on the phone and this works with any Android smartphone brands. Go into the settings. Once you're in settings, we need to go into Bluetooth. Over here, I'll click on connected device and we'll have a button on the top, pair new device. On some Samsung phones, you may have a button over here saying scan. You need to press it so it starts scanning for any Bluetooth devices that are around the phone. Now it's time to put the controller in pairing mode and to do so, press the PS button and the share button both at the same time until the blue light on the side over here starts blinking. So let's do it, I'm pressing both. Okay, it starts blinking, I can release my fingers, place the controller on the table, and now over here I'll press pair new device. And just like that it should appear in the list. If you have again a Samsung phone you may simply need to click on scan and go um, at the end of the list of the Bluetooth list and your controller should appear. On my phone I should have I get DualSense wireless controller, I click on it and then press pair and it will be added to the paired devices. So everything is good to go if you want to connect your PS5 using a remote play and play your PS games on your phone you can do this using the controller but it also works with you know Android in general so over here you see if I move the joystick I can do that. If you have games, it also works, but not all games are working well with a PS5 controller, to be honest. For example, this one, you see, it works quite well. The X doesn't do anything. Some games will allow you to change in settings what each buttons are doing, so you can customize this. But overall, this is it. Once you're done playing, you need to disconnect the controller completely from your phone. So you just have to come back into the Bluetooth settings, the same place where you were previously. And over here, this is my uh, controller. I'll simply keep press on it, then press forget, forget device, and it will be gone from my phone this way. If you want to connect both using a USB cable, you need to use the USB cable that came with the controller. Okay, it's very important unless you have another USB cable that is OTG, okay, that is not only for charging but also to transfer data. I'll put links in the description to some OTG cables because, because not all cables will make this work. So this is not even the original one that came with my PS5 but since it's an OTG cable it will work. So connect the USB type C port um, part over here, the cable in the port of the controller and most Android phones will have a USB type C connector. This is USB type A, it will not work. So if you have one of these cables, you'll need an adapter that again is OTG compatible as well. This is made by Apple, but obviously there's many other brands. I'll put links down below. Connect the cable to the adapter or if your cable is already USB type C, go ahead, connect it. Connect it there. And just like that, it should work. The first thing you're gonna notice when you connect both is that the controller will start charging using the battery of your Android smartphone. Now, some people may want this, some people may dislike it because it will drain the battery of their phone. And now if I open a game, let me open the same one over here, I'll be able to use the controller the same way. I was using it using Wi-Fi. Um, I need to warn you, some games I found that the controller is acting up. Example, this game. You may not hear it, but the controller is vibrating slightly. It, it's working. But if I put it on the table, you see, it's vibrating. And I didn't find how to get rid of this issue. Uh, some other games, the controller is not vibrating. So you'll have to test this out. It's less... I find that it's better to simply connect it using Bluetooth uh, and only use the cable if you really don't have any choice. 
because some games will not be fully compatible. Anyway, once you're done, simply disconnect the controller and this is about it. Don't forget to disconnect. If not, the controller will drain the batteries of your phone and you probably don't want that. Thanks for watching. I hope my video was helpful. If so, please leave a like. Check my Amazon links down below if you want to get some cables, adapters, stuff like that for your PS5. And I'll see you in the next video.